It's Andre from the High Performance Academy and we're here with Spiro from Autotech to talk about this amazing WRX. So Spiro, can you tell us for a start, what have you done to this thing? Because it looks like an absolute beast. Yeah, it is, it is. It's actually a S10 chassis. It's an original ProDrive um, WRC shell. Um, one of, um, I think as far as we're aware, it's the only one in Australia. Um, we can't confirm that, but as far as I'm aware it is. What we've basically done is taken that shell and converted it into a uh, track car. So there's a lot of time and effort gone into it, as you can see, a lot of money. But we're getting it to a stage now where we're almost happy with the preparation of the car. We're actually just tuning it in today. It's its first event with some of the aero that we never got to complete. Okay, so um, I just want to talk about the, the ECU for a start. Yeah. Um, obviously getting the power out of the engine and getting a reliable tune is going to be pretty key to, to making this car reliable. Yeah. What, uh, what electronics have you got on board? Uh, we've got a, all Haltech gear pretty much. Haltech sponsored the car. We've got a Haltech PS2000, you know, controlling the engine management side of things. Um, we've also got like a, a, a diff controller, which is actually done by a guy called Adrian Voss, who designed and set it all up himself. Now, with the engine management system, it couples up with a race pack Haltech dash, and that basically gives us all our data logging and our, we get all our data acquisition through that. So you're using the, uh, the dash for track timing as well, GPS track timing and yeah. track mapping? Correct, yeah. Okay, so the, the engine, what have you done there? What sort of power are you producing and what sort of boost are you running, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah. The engine, um, that's a pretty complex setup there because Subaru engines with big boost just don't like to stay together. Two and a half litres have a really thin cylinder wall, so with big boost, big power, they tend to spread. So we spent a lot of time developing the closed decking system on the top of the block to get it to stay together. We make generally 800 horsepower at peak boost. Um, it makes, at peak boost, we run 40 pound back to about 34, 35. Um, at that point, we're doing 460, 470 kilowatts at all four wheels. Right now, we're, we're running a minute 35, and we've only got the car tuned to about 340 odd kilowatts, 350 around there, only because um, we're still setting up the wings, suspension. As I said, today's a bit of a test. Although it's a competitive day, we are testing. Tomorrow, we're going to take the medium tyres off, the medium um, rated tyres and put our softs on and crank the tune up and see how we go tomorrow. That's uh, there's a serious amount of power, it's a really impressive car. Subaru gearbox is also a bit of a known weakness, uh, what are you running for the gearbox and, and how have you found that to be? Yeah, good, good question. With the gearbox at this point in time, we're still running a standard STI gearbox. Uh, the gear ratios are out of a 08 STI because they're a lot taller. Um, with the, the actual gears themselves, we've had them treated to smooth them up a bit so we can try and get them to last. Yeah, gearboxes is an issue, that's our next step. But there's, as you can see, you know, we don't have a bottomless piss, pit, pit of cash, so we have to you know, make do with what we can for the moment and hopefully this time next year we'll have a full sequential box in there. No, that sounds good. Um, you mentioned the centre diff controller and that, that was sort of a bit of a custom item. How important is tuning the, the uh, centre diff or the torque split to actually getting the, the car to handle properly and get the lap times down? Yeah, it is. It's important. Um, with most four-wheel drive vehicles you suffer severe understeer problems so torque split is very, very important. That's again, that's another part of the car that we are still playing with but yeah, uh, obviously with four-wheel drive cars understeering you want to try and get them to oversteer otherwise you just can't get them into a corner and out because what people don't realise it's not about horsepower and straight line speed when it comes to track cars you've got to get into the corner and your mid corner speed and your exit speed is, is just as crucial as straight line speed so yeah the diff controller is a very important part of the, of the gearbox and we have uh, we've got our Cusco diffs in it we've got a two way on the rear and a 1.5 set up on the front in terms of uh, getting that cornering speed up, obviously you've still got a bit of aero on the car as well. Um, how have you developed that? Have you uh, done, done any sort of testing or where has the design come from? Yeah, well we've actually had a gentleman by the name of Scott Beaton um, from Aero Design do the, the package. Right now um, it's actually doing him an injustice because we haven't got his whole design on the car. Um, we're going to work on that. We've got other, we've got splitters, um, you know, we've got to put the side rams on and we've still got the flat floor that we've got to do. But Scott's been working hard here with us this weekend to try and get the best out of what we can, what we got. But unfortunately, due to time, 
we didn't get to install at all. So that's something that we've still got to complete. That's an unfinished project. So we're very fortunate to have a guy of his calibre. He's mucked around with McLaren and people like that. So he's a very switched on character. Oh, sounds amazing. Well, look, we uh, wish you all the best for tomorrow and hopefully you can go a little bit quicker. Thanks for taking the time to chat to us. Thank you. Cheers. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.